My name is Ray, and if you watch my recent videos, you know I make games. And what's the most important thing in games? Good maps. So today, I'll show you guys how to make a cool map in Unity using Pro Builder. So this is the little demo map I made in just five minutes. It may look easy to you, but the whole thing is only just one cube. And if you just stack cube on top of each other, it's gonna be easy, but it's gonna be really, really hard for your computer. So if I say this, you might not believe me, but let me show you instead. So look at this nice, comfortable room a player is in. And let's look outside. What? It's made out of six cubes. We all know that a cube has six faces. So six cubes is like 36 faces. That will totally blow up your computer. But instead, you could just disable five of them and then get a cube and then just mash the player inside the cube and then you just do a little bit of magic magic and then look at this we have a nice and comfortable room using only six faces and you could like see through the room outside which looks pretty weird but it's pretty useful okay don't judge me so how did I make like the walls and the stairs and the ladders using only one cube? So let me show you. So first we can make this room a little bit bigger since I have my movement script is quite quick. And like I also have wall running. And like wall running in a short, a little space gives me motion sickness. So now we have like a comfortable big room. And then we just get this tool, so it's a face selection. So this is, you could select the faces. This is edge selection. This is corner selection. This is just the whole shape selection. So we just select this face. We just press shift and then we move it to extrude it. And then we just make like um, a small thickness of a wall to just start with. And then you go to the edge selection to just select these two, these three edges. And you have to hold down shift to press like multiple objects. And then you just um, like press insert edge loop here. And then boom, you have an edge loop. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically like the room is a cake and then a edge loop is a knife. It cuts the room open, letting you take out small pieces, like individual pieces. So back to the demonstration, you put this a little bit here, so this one's gonna be the door. And then now you could go inside and then select these two. And you got this, and an extra reminder, hold shift when you select multiple objects. I already said that, but in case you forgot and then you just blame me in the comments, I'll just say it again. And then you delete it by holding backspace. And then you just select these two edges. And you just select the bridge edges. Bridge. Okay, now you bridge the edge. And then you do the same with these few. Bridge edge. And then this bridge edge. Okay, now we have like a comfortable little room. But how did I make the slope? Well, it's pretty easy. You just need to do this. You just hold this downwards a little bit. And then a slope. That's the easiest way to get slopes in Pro Builder. Yeah, don't judge me, okay? And then you could just pull this. You could extrude. No, not this. So you could select the edge, like this face. And then you could just extrude this. And then you delete this and then you will have a little face here. Wait, what did I just do? I shouldn't have done that. So instead of having a face and you need to recreate the tunnel in another cube, you could have done this. So you just make this a little bit smaller, like this. This is going to be your entrance, okay? And then once you put your entrance open, you just put it here, and then you just drag this backwards. Wait, no, you need to press shift and extrude this. So this is where I got the hallway. And then to make another room, we could just do this 
extrude and extrude bam a nice little room I used to make maps just stuffing cubes together I like big cube but now I learned Pro Builder it's just so much easier and then the walls I got the walls with the same method I did on top so let me just demonstrate again like walls okay because walls are pretty cool they're around houses and yet yeah, stuff and stuff not really sure what they do so you have select these insert edge loop and then boom you have an edge loop and then you just move this a little bit here and then you just hit buddy doppity your edges your faces on my wait a second are my property but that doesn't make sense because I just deleted it so yeah you know and then you just select these bridge them bridge edges set like this so you don't you you have to look closely but yeah I, I told you okay do not blame me okay so you just put this here put this here bridge edges okay now you have finally completed your um, like a little average little basement and if you want like a pillar in the middle to just support the way you could just subdivide faces and you have multiple like little squares on the floor and then you just divide that again and then you could just do this and you could also make slopes using that method but I'm not a fan of slopes because they give me motion sickness so yeah now this is a little room and if you're making like a horror game you can make this darker give put a zombie here or whatever and stuff so this is the final demonstration so you have a nice little room you have like wall running and look you could go down the slopes but my movement script is quite fast so yeah and then we have like walls I love walls and then you go here yeah and so, so for the guys out there who don't know how to like add pro builder you first go to windows and then you go to package manager like here okay package manager and then the in the pack packages column you choose unity registry and then you search for pro build pro builder and then if you don't have it you could just click here there should be like an install and then you install it and then you import it yeah but, but I already have it so I have like a remove button okay so this is the end of the video and let's summarize so today we learned how to use pro builder to make the most important thing in games maps and maps are important like it doesn't matter if you're making a horror game first person shooter multiplayer games the map is really important so yeah pro builder is cool that's what i like to say so if you like this video like and subscribe if you don't like this video like and subscribe also do that because yeah <laughs> this video is great and so thank you for watching bye